We're back to the Neil Haley Show, and my guest today is going to change our mind about traditional medicine, looking at other options. My guest today is Dr. Ilya Skolnikov. Uh, Dr. Skolnikov, thanks for coming by. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Doing great. All right. So let's kind of talk about specifically your background and how you decided to kind of look at other options when it comes to medicine compared to what traditional medicine brings. Yeah, well, I want to make a long story not too long. I want to try to shorten it up a little bit. But basically, growing up, I was fairly shy. And uh, nobody ever said anything about shy being good or bad. I was just shy. So I didn't like to go out a whole lot. I'd kind of stay at home and was really close to my mother. And I later found out that some of the things that were happening with me being shy were actually related to my thyroid not working properly. Mm. So the result of a thyroid condition that's not diagnosed is almost anything you can imagine. So in my case, I had really bad acne. I know I may look, you know, like a really good looking guy with a skin as smooth as a baby's butt right now. But to, to tell you the truth, I used to have really bad cystic acne. Sorry about the noises in the background. I'm trying to figure out how to keep my computer quiet. So um, I ended up getting all these different therapies. I used Cleosin T and Retin-A and I tried this stuff called um, tetracycline, and a lot of people have used benzoyl peroxide on their on their skin. All these things are for acne. None of them seem to help. There's a, a cream that's a prescription cream. My father was a medical doctor, so I tried this prescription cream called Retin A, and that caused my acne to get worse underneath where I would apply the cream. It was like, what? Oh, no. How supposed to help? Yeah. So. Uh, Finally, the, the dermatologist that my father sent me to, because he didn't know anything about chiropractic or naturopathy or acupuncture or homeopathy or herbs or nutrition, I don't know, he was a medical doctor, but the dermatologist said, hey, we can give you, you know, this really big, strong stuff called Accutane. And Accutane is still popular today, even though they had to change the formulation a couple of times due to all the different class action lawsuits against Accutane. So I took the Accutane. And it turns out that all the things that said on the label, like you may have floaters in your eyes, you might end up getting red flushed skin, you might have all these health problems. All those things really did happen. It's really true. I started even having cloudy thinking. Oh no. I became exhausted. I used to have really bad irritable bowel syndrome. It was terrible. And so I was just looking for a solution anywhere that I could. I went to different healthcare providers. I was even in in chiropractic, I went to chiropractic school um, for a variety of reasons, but I wanted to help people with some of the same health concerns I was having. And after receiving four months of chiropractic and acupuncture treatment and herbs, I mean, really regular chiropractic, really regular acupuncture, nothing was able to help. I mean, I wasn't getting any worse, but I wasn't getting any better. Mind you, I was in, I was in a not good way. I mean, I I couldn't think clearly. I was getting depressed, but never told anyone because I'm a man like yourself, Neil, you're a man. You know, when we're depressed, we don't want to tell anyone because God forbid a man be depressed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> women are allowed to be depressed, but men are not allowed to be. So uh, yeah, I just, I couldn't think straight. I, I, I was low on energy. I, I had, you know, I was taking a handful of pills to wake up in the morning, another handful of pills with breakfast, with lunch, with dinner, and to go to sleep. I was kind of like a they weren't drugs, they were natural supplements and herbs and things, but why the hell did I need so many of them? You know? right. So finally, I found this little uh, this Korean fellow, his name is Dr. Bruce Shin, he still practices in Temecula, California. I was going to school at a place called Southern California University of Health Sciences, Acu uh, School of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine, Los Angeles College of Chiropractic, it really does have that long name, by the way. And so I had to drive two hours to go see Dr. Bruchin and two hours back. And in just one treatment visit, I got more relief than I'd gotten in my four months or four and a half months or so of chiropractic, acupuncture, and herbs. I mean, I might have paid him, I don't know, $180 or something like that. But I'll tell you what, my life completely changed from that day onwards because I realized I could I could be healthy. I didn't have to deal with the the crazy symptoms with the the actually had like really kind of like warm flashes, like dizzy spells, just almost every morning when I got a little stressed out, kind of like a woman who has hot flashes, but I, I was a man. I had night sweats. I mean, it just, oh my, 
make sure you don't let me tell you any more about it. But anyway, so in one treatment visit, I got, I had to say 80% of my symptoms were gone. He maybe gave me two or three nutrients I needed to take. It's true, mm -hmm. you know, with some, some of my meals, but Hey, no big deal. And I would have paid him a, a hundred times the amount of money that I paid him for the difference it made in my life. And that day out going forward, I decided to dedicate my life to helping other people with the similar health concerns that I had. So that was kind of the background. The, the, the weird part is that my father is a psychiatrist. So as you know, psych, psychiatry is more of the traditional medicine, right. the old medicine, whereas chiropractic, herbs, homeopathy, nutrition, what I do to help my patients, that's what I call in my new best-selling book from Amazon. It's the Skolnikov Method, New Medicine for a New You, the Inflammation Handbook. That's the new medicine is the herbs, homeopathy, the right. things that have actually been around for longer than our, you know, 150 so, or 200 years. So what types of herbs did you help for your skin to get your skin clear? So what happened was I took Accutane and that cleared up my skin, but it caused me to have all these really, really crazy side uh, effects. You had to get all the different natural herbs to fix it. So what are the, what? Are, so basically you're- well, I, I, had a, I had a toxic liver. Sorry, my, my mistake. You know, I didn't really tell you the whole story. I was kind of jumping around a little bit, but I, I ended, up have, ended up having a lot of the trouble I had was from taking the Accutane. The Accutane caused me to have a toxic liver. The toxic liver caused me, be, me to be really, really angry. I was like yelling at the girlfriend I had at the time. Also, when I went to the gym one day to lift weights, um, I tore this muscle called the pec major. You, you're probably familiar with it. It's the, the, the pec mm -hmm. muscle that men like to develop right. when they're doing the bench press at the gym. So I heard this ping sound, sound, you know, and then I realized something's not right when I'm, you know, lifting the weights. Right. And so the guy that was spotting me said, I don't know, you know, I don't know, go, go to hospital, get an x-ray. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong. I mean, you don't seem to want to do anything anymore. So then I went to the hospital and they said, well, we'll take an x-ray, but we don't know if we're going to find anything because, you know, it's soft tissue damage, most likely. So I went to the hospital and um, it turns out I had torn 90% of that, that muscle, the pec major sternal muscle on the left side of my body. And that muscle is related to the liver. So I was yelling at people. I had a toxic liver. I found out through my applied kinesiology studies that the muscles related to the liver. And so the only way I was able to really get to the cause of my acne, not, not to get to the symptom. The symptom was gone. I no longer had acne after the Accutane, but now I had all these other problems. So I needed to use the, those non-traditional therapies, the holistic therapies, the, the herbs, the chiropractic, the home, homeopathy, these, these kind of therapies was what I was using, something called professional applied kinesiology. So your book will help people with what types of things, the book, your book? Thank goodness you're asking that. The, the, the book, The Skolnikoff Method, New Medicine for a New You, the Inflammation Handbook, talks about in great detail how to, the problems and solutions to autoimmune disease, thyroid disease, mood disorders, mm. and hormone imbalances. Um, most people don't realize that almost everyone has hormone imbalances. You know, even men, we have both estrogen and progesterone. We, we may have a lot more testosterone in our systems, but we also have estrogen and progesterone. Yeah. So anyway, there's a lot of misunderstandings about this stuff. So I said, you know, I wrote the book to set the record straight and to help people who are suffering. They don't have anyone who can help them. People are having trouble with their weight. They have heart disease. My father died of all these different diseases. He had, um, he had prostate cancer. He had lymphoma. He had a, a type of a Parkinson's disease. And so he, he, he was so unfortunately for for me and my brother he was a closed-minded fellow so he wasn't open to having me help him with his health but that's a lot of what drives me as well it's not just that i had really bad acne it's that i grew up in a family with two academians you know my mother is this lady who taught anthropology at berkeley and stanford and my father was a psychiatrist who taught at university of california san francisco at ucsf so you know, I'm, I'm doing like almost the exact opposite, right? I'm helping people with things that nobody else is able to help them with, but with a very non-traditional approach. The Skolnikoff method is about combining all these really extremely effective holistic therapies, most of which have been around for at least several hundred, if not right. many thousands. And your book years. is the only explain it. So you don't go to a certain 
vitamin store, different types of, you know, healthy, like organic type stores and go buy these supplements or different things without knowing what works and what doesn't work. And that's your book kind of lays out for you to understand what herbs work, what don't, what is the right thing to do. So people got to buy your book. That's the base thing that's saying is, you know, you, you are proof in the pudding, what you're able to change and transform your life. You're helping other people do it. Where's the best place people can go buy the book and go? Where's the best? We can buy the book at uh, skolnikov.com. S like Sam, K like Carl, O L, N like Nancy, I K O F F.com. I know how to spell my own name. It's amazing. And, uh, you know, to, to answer your question, I don't know if it was a question, but, you know, the book helps people to know what works and what doesn't work. That's true. But, and they do need to buy the book. Right. But I think it's more important to, and just, you don't have to agree with me. What happens if people don't buy the book? You, you know, people are getting shot up with all kinds of stuff. Right now we got this, the COVID cra craziness. So people are getting injected with what Dr. Fleming, uh, the well-known cardiologist who wrote over 40 articles about uh, different health related articles. And he has a, as a developer of a number of different patents, he wrote the book, you know, is COVID-19 a biological weapon? So that should be a clue. Maybe you need to learn more. <laughs> you know, maybe, okay? So if you don't learn more, that's fine. But what kind of life do you want to live? I mean, cancer's on the rise. In India, it's, it's about 60% of the population has diabetes. You know, in this country, it's far lower. But you can't, you can't turn the corner or walk across the street or... Um, open up social media or watch a TV show without hearing something about somebody's health that's not great. You know, do you snore? Do you have hair loss? Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have the other thing? It's like, well, yeah, you do. So do you want to be a victim of the medical establishment, which is documented to be the number one cause of death, at least in this country? Right. Or do you want to take more control? Oh, they got to get their book, got to buy the book. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And Go. it's not just my book. My book is basically the thing that's so great about my book, which is not about my book, is that it's combining all the latest research from, you know, Dr. You know, Dr. Patricia, uh, uh, Dr. Patricia Campbell McBride, who wrote Gut and Psychology Syndrome. It's combining the information from, you know, Power versus force, who talks about human consciousness. I mean, this is not, it's not about me. It's about where is our society going right now? And what are we going to do? Because a lot of what we're having in, in America, you know, not, every, you know, I'm involved in healthcare. Obviously, this is my big thing. But for those people who are not, they don't realize that um, our country uses more pain medication than all other countries in the world combined. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of a statistic so, where big things. Wow. Yeah, and our pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and our population's not that high. I mean, we have around two hundred sixty million people. China has, I don't know what it is. I think it's over two and a half, or even three billion people. So we're we got a tiny population, but we're anesthetized. We're in pain. We have problems. So. I think if people live in this country, they should definitely buy my book. I don't know about these other countries if it's absolutely necessary, but I think it's a good idea here and maybe even in Europe to to get my book and similar books. Yeah, I've, I have a bunch of books that I refer to in my book, actually. I appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you coming on. It was great information. It's exactly what people should understand. Big Pharma is bad news. You keep getting the word out and keep having success. Thanks. Yeah, I'm doing my best. I appreciate your making this all possible, Neil. You're welcome. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show. We'll be back in just a moment.